Is happy wife, happy life a toxic term? Because, you know, I just feel like, well, let me reserve my opinion and thoughts. Mary, what you think? Absolutely. Yeah, why? Absolutely. I feel like it goes um, within the guidelines of like men suffering in silence, mm -hmm. um, you know, and just trying to be, um, I, I, I don't like men that are people pleasers. So when it comes to happy wife, happy life, you're doing everything to satisfy somebody else. And I think that's a toxic trait for self in general, because it should never just be about somebody else. You consider somebody else, but it should never always be 100% about somebody else. So to make something, uh, you know, just a happy wife, happy life, and it's not even guaranteed that she's making you happy, like that's a no-go. Hmm. Okay. So how important is happiness to you? Happiness is a 10 out of 10. Really? Yeah. For a marriage? Yeah. Not, not saying, not saying that there won't be unhappy times. <clears throat> I'm just saying happiness overall, because you can have situations that you're frustrated, that you're unhappy for the moment. But overall, when you look at things, you're like, I'm not so miserable, depressed in a black hole person. Okay, but so then how do you bring it back though? Because you said it's a 10. Right. So it's it's still a 10. You don't want to be with somebody the rest of your life that you're not happy with. You don't want to be just content. You know what I'm saying? You want to be able to know that okay, I, I had this phase where I wasn't that I was unhappy, but I know I've had the happiness and I know I can get back to the happiness. So but my question was, how important is it? You're saying it's a 10? Yes. <laughs> Because that's always going to be the goal. But but what about because it can be so fluid and fleeting? How do you? And it, but if it's so important as a ten, isn't that maybe a, a recipe for a potential fallout or disaster? Not necessarily. If you look at it, always being the goal. Mm. Not necessarily saying that you have it. You know, like people want to people want to be successful with you know a wealthy amount of money. That's that's a ten. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to be wealthy. So you're going to work to get there. And you know that it's obtainable if you work to get there. So it's still going to be a 10. It's still going to be top tier to be successful in the financial department. Mm. So just like happiness, you do what you got to do to get there. Not saying that it's always going to be there. Yeah, I, I hear you. I just. All right. Well, let, let's get some other opinions. Chief, what say you? Is happy wife, happy life a toxic term? <sighs> I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the the the, the strain of positivity and, and presume that her being happy is or me making her happy is because she's making me happy. So therefore, there's there's like an intrinsic motivation for me to do the right thing to keep her happy. So she's doing her part and I'm doing mine. So no, happy wife, happy life is not a toxic term because she's doing what she's supposed to do to keep me happy. So you're saying as long as you're happy, it's not toxic. That sounds kind of toxic. I'm saying as long as we both putting in the, the effort to keep each other happy. So as long as y'all both toxic. <laughs> I mean, how is it toxic to make your partner happy? As long as I'm, I better be happy and then I'll no, keep I'm her happy. I better be, but you know, yeah, obviously we're going, as a man, you're supposed to, you know, protect and provide so you can provide some things, but she's got to be doing her part too. I don't think protecting and provide have anything to do with happiness at you all. Pro you, you're providing the necessities to keep her happy. No? Nah, not, No. Like you protect because that that's intrinsic for a man and you okay. provide because that's also intrinsic. I don't think we do it to make her happy. We do, do it because it's duty, right? But do those things not make her happy though? And I mean, have you seen the divorce rate? I have. Nigga still be paying right. the bills and she still get up out of there. I mean, it's, it's obviously it, it goes beyond just the, the duties, but still providing can be it can be provisions of many different things. Like what? dick no <laughs> um <laughs> all of the above dates <laughs> all of the above man dates conversation communication all that is a part of provision no um, depends, on what, depends on what your standard is uh no those aren't part of provision then i guess your standards are slightly different than mine then man i think chief and mary ain't giving me that good of answers okay why is it not a good answer? Because it's not what you want to hear. Mute. <laughs> like, Love. Is happy wife, happy life a toxic term? 
<laughs> um, yes, I do. I believe it's toxic. I just think happiness is a frivolous uh, feeling. It seems it's very frivolous to be happy. Happy is mm. contingent upon, um, you know, different variables and just arbitrary things at times. And so if that particular thing that leaves and you're no longer happy, it's just so attached to a lot of contingencies. And I don't, I just think it's toxic. So again, I, I, what Mary said, um, he has to be happy as well. And so we, we should be happy. The goal is for all of us to not be happy, but to be content, joyful, productive, viable. That's the goal. And so um, ensuring that that happens is the goal. But happy wife, happy life, I think that's very toxic. <clears throat> so what's the goal? <laughs> not happy. I mean, as I said, happy is very frivolous. So, you know... Uh, being content, being viable, being productive, you know, a partnership, a union that is producing. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? My finger slipped. You Does said partners, good? something like that. Some weird, like partners. Union, partners, I'm sure. union. productive oh. union and, and, and all that. That's the goal. Not okay. happy because happy is attached to too many things that could be fleeting. So okay. I have a question directly. Yes, it's toxic. Okay. Bob, what say you? 